I'll get back to that in a moment, but I figured that would be something that would interest you guys. With that being said, welcome to December's update. Let's get started. For those of you new to this vlog, uh, my name is Sly Williams. I am a area director on the east end of Pittsburgh with Young Life. I'm loving it. I've been here for about a year and a half with my smoking hot wife. And what I get to do is, or what I love to do is monthly updates that really just show you guys what I get to do on a daily basis with students, with the school, um, traveling with them, or just doing any type of traveling, um, any events that we're doing. Uh, you get to see me do life to life ministry. Uh, and we, I love it. So I'm over on the east end of Pittsburgh, um, which uh, two schools that I oversee right now, or I'm a part of, are Taylor Order Dice and Obama. And I've been having a great time. I'm also part of Young Life College. Shout goes out to Pitt. And we also are at Duquesne. And you're probably wondering why am I chilling in uh, or at least near a blue slide and for those who are in from Pittsburgh know this place very well but all I like to do if you look at any of my other vlogs you, you'll see that I like to switch it up um, sometimes I'm on the couch and sometimes I'm in other places of Pittsburgh and I just want to show it off in that way so with that being said let's transition into what we have to show you for December just finish this workout Actually, the warm up. Look at these jabronis. Hey, it's still my man G. It's still beat the 45. That's it's right. Still beat the 45. Okay, my guys. Strong. Again, strong for track season. Okay, so sadly, I, actually, I'm, I'm going to take that back. Not sadly. For those of you who are new, um, this is going to look a little different. We are at the end of 2019, and it would be foolish of me not to really just show you guys what 2019 held. And so for the most part, I usually go over like what's going on, kind of play by play that happened in that month. But I really just want to take this moment to show you what occurred in 2019 through some pictures and videos that I might... Um, I mean that I've experienced that you guys might have seen in some previous e vlogs and for those of you new it's, it's going to be brand new anyway. Uh, for those of you that are new and want to know more information you can uh, check out my information below. Uh, my cell phone and e number are on there and also any past vlogs will be on this channel as well. So let's take a little memory lane down 2019. I am at Phipps Conservatory, my man G, and Money. I'm with Bow Miebers oh, and the smoking gosh. hot wife Careful. over here. Sorry about that, ma'am. <laughs> Happy holidays. It's a great day out here in, in Winter vibes. Wonderland Garden. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know the vibe. All right, we are literally minutes away from <laughs> ending 2019. Jeez. Bella, how are you feeling today? Good. She is ready. Got a pot <laughs> in the kitchen. We're ready to bust some pots and pans in 2019 and welcome 2020. What it do? She's ready. You're looking good too, Bella. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! Yeah! 2019 came with some lows and it most certainly came with some highs and we are here standing in 2020 as you saw in the last video um, I was saying fair, saying farewell to 2019 and hello to 2020 and that's okay usually I try to do them before the month is over but guess what I'm letting you in on a little secret that I'm in 2020 giving you this video this update but it's okay but we, I really had a, an amazing year I couldn't have imagined or envisioned the way it was played out and I'm so appreciative um, of what 2019 consisted of and what awaits us in 2020. Um, 
it was great just meeting up with some of the kids and, and building better relationships, stronger relationships, and also creating new relationships with some students. Um, we, we officially started Campaigners. Check this picture out. In here, about to get this uh, like Super Smash Bros. Tournament, tournament on before we get into discussion. We shall see who wins. You know, picture, video, it's all the same thing. It's capturing an experience, and we had a lot of those in 2019. And it's been really great to um, have just kids that genuinely want to be around me. Um, I'm always surprised at that, but I'm, I'm very grateful for the, the opportunity and the experience and the vessel I get to be. Um, it's been really great building relations with them and also being able to just talk life that we're at a point now where um, I meet them, I met them where they're at and now they want to know more about me and um, we're having this great conversations one on one but also in groups and they overall know that they are loved, that they, they matter in this world and now we're just trying to find out more and more of like what their purpose is in life and, uh, and how they pursue that. So that's just been really great and on top of that, I mean my leaders, I'm just loving them their way right now they'll be starting up their semester back at Pitt and Duquesne and I'm just loving the, that the leaders that they're growing into the their relationships that they're building with students as well has been phenomenal and and overall my, my smoking hot wife she's so cool and so amazing and I just am so grateful for her and I hope she she sees this she actually will see it because she sends this out in the emails but I'm just so grateful for her and I'm so thankful that I have um, this these moments and and that I'm I'm able to like live life with her to do life with her so thank you so much amy i love you so much okay so as you can see from that video uh earlier you're probably like why are you trying to push your car out of a ditch and that came from um this oh up in the kitchen and what is this called again um pits baby rocky pits and uh what's this called again look out uh, Buena vista frontier, frontier ranch oh, with my guys from louisiana Holding it down, uh, holding Rocky. it down, Rocky. holding it down, having a good time. Stay tuned for more. That's my man John right there. The one and only, the man, the myth, the legend. So one of my donors, John O, great man, uh, from Louisiana, met him while I was in Colorado. We just ended up staying in touch and that turned into, if you look back, at July's or June's update, you would see a kid named Philip that was in there, and he's from Louisiana, and he was actually on work crew with me, and I got the opportunity to serve with him for a month. He was a phenomenal worker, and John O and myself just stayed in touch, and he says he gave me this opportunity to come out to Colorado with him to work with some of the boys, and hopefully start some type of partnership where those boys, you know, once a year or twice a year can link up with me and we go serve at a camp or in some capacity. And so I took him up on it and that's how I made it to Colorado. And we had a great time. Really quick before I get to the explanation of why I was pushing a car, helping pushing a car out of a ditch, check this out. <laughs> get it, get it, get it! Wait, what about Philip? Not Philip, you! <laughs> I mean, come on, was that not cool? Like seeing those guys fall in the snow and just kind of be free, no judgment. And that's just the way that, you know, God sees us as well. Like no judgment, he loves us exactly where we're at. And this is really cool seeing that with those kids because I mean, back at home, they don't, they can't, they have their guard up so much because they're always looking over their shoulder. Um, I feel like they they have more accessibility to things that might get them in trouble than opportunities that should be there. Um, for them. So it was great that they were able to walk into this opportunity to go to Colorado to serve for a little bit, but also to get out of their normal element, no, no, normal environment. And so that was great. Salute to those guys. I wish you the best. Hopefully we stay in touch over the years. Okay, it, it wouldn't be right if I didn't tell you how that story went down. So me pushing, helping push the car out of a ditch, we were literally leaving to go back to the airport. And as we were driving, uh, we see this car that's in a ditch. And we thought to ourselves to actually, you know, someone else would come by. And then we said, you know what, let's just see, you know, maybe she called someone or the person called someone. And that was not the case. We got out of the car and actual another car stopped by as well. We put some sand down and it was just so cool to help um, 
push out that car and kind of kind of end our trip and our and our our moments together uh, with that even before we went to the airport and went our own way so so grateful for that opportunity that we just um, we accepted the we welcomed the interruption uh, in our lives that we were not expecting that but yet it was uh, something that I won't forget for sure and I mean to be honest I, I hope I don't have to do it again but if I if I do I know that I can um, so that was actually a, a fun and uh, just good time to hang out with some guys and then you know be a part of that experience just like 2019 came to an end so does this video it has to come to an end and with that I want to end with prayer requests and you can be praying for um, the area that we just have more opportunities to meet more kids reach out to them be influential and just meet them exactly where they're at um, you can be praying for our leaders God, as we walk into the schools uh, that we continue to be a presence be a constant that we allow the Lord to lay the first brick to make the first step in everything that we do you can be praying for um, our budget um, we are doing really well but that's something we're always going to be chasing after the more money we raise the, the more opportunities we can give to kids that go to camp um, be able to take them to other events and also provide them with some snacks and foods during campaign or in club that we know we want to start up soon and I have some other cool ideas that I want to um, start hopefully in 2020 and I'll be letting, informing you guys on that more um, family health um, I have a big event that I want to do in April, and I'll let you guys know about that soon enough. In January's update, you'll see about that, and I'm excited to uh, to walk into that or maybe run. Oh, that's a hint right there. Um, last but not least, you can be praying for oh me and my smoking hot wife Amy. Love you guys so much. Um, if you haven't heard from anyone else, hear from me. You are loved. You have purpose. You have meaning in life, and go find it. Um, partner with other people. Um, don't be in this world by yourself. Um, we're seeing that more and more um, that we are not called. We are not designed to be by ourselves. So go out there and, and get love from someone else and go love someone else yourselves. With that being said, I'm out. Peace.